I mean, you could see for yourself that the hearing yesterday became contentious at moments. Congressman, you've come on this show before and talked about the Democratic reaction to the uh, the Capitol breach on January 6th, calling it a little bit theatrical, overstated, a narrative they're pushing as opposed to married to the actual reality of what happened on the day, which, of course, you condemn as well. So, I mean, what do you think the goals of this hearing are at this point? I mean, you said that they are, you know, just continuing to bash President Trump, but I do think that there probably are still some outstanding questions Americans and lawmakers alike want answered from, uh, from, from protection forces and security forces in D.C. about what happened on that day. Do you feel similarly to that? Do you think that there are some questions that we still need answers to? Of course, there are many questions that need to be answered, and some of those questions could only be answered by individuals like Mayor Bowser, who was not even invited to participate. She herself uh, refused to have uh, certain protections from the National Guard. She said that the uh, Metro Police Department had everything under control and did not need federal assistance. And we have a letter. In fact, I brought forth a letter myself in the, in the hearing yesterday that she wrote on January 5th saying that they didn't need any help. Well, we need questions as to that. Uh, why did she make those statements? Because the uh, intelligence showed us that there were going to be mobs of people uh, and that extra forces potentially would be needed. Those are questions that need to be answered.